Remember, it takes two people now. See how this wood is just rotting out. Oh my God. Hopefully I don't break them and hopefully it works out. Oh shoot. I don't break the acrylic. I gotta just kind of rip this foam off. Three years, in the three years, I would say it's leaked. All but maybe a month and a half. It's a disaster. The foam didn't want to stick, but now it's like all over the bottom of the enclosure. Do you see a drip? No. Gosh, I don't know what we're gonna do. That's a tough one. So today is the day that we're gonna try to start to fix salt and pepper's enclosure. The first thing I'm gonna do is just make a cut with this material up to here and then try to just get all of this off so I can peel this back because what I have to do is cut a couple slots in so that we can have supports in here. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the problem. See how this wood is just rotting out like this? It's just because of all the dampness that's not supposed to be there. The seam is split right about here. So what I'm gonna do is try to actually cut this piece out here so I can wedge something in here. I'll probably leave this board right here and we'll make a measurement. So let's go ahead and see if we can just get through this wood. It should be pretty good with it being so yucky. <laughs> how absolutely terrible this is. I mean, this wood is so rotted. We have to put in supports that are basically not gonna rot. So we'll actually use acrylic. That's probably like one inch acrylic. We'll have this exact dimension. As a matter of fact, we'll probably make it a 16th or maybe a 32nd too big. That way we can wedge it in here, push it all the way to the back, and then that'll kind of support things so the wood will no longer be the structural support. And that'll keep the bottom tight with the side, and then we can epoxy that seam, and then there shouldn't be any leak anymore. And once it stops leaking, this will dry out. Be okay, but we definitely need support that are gonna help support this rotted wood. Well, now that I've got this, Okay, so here's where it's important. We need exact measurement on this right here. Can't be even a little bit off, and it's actually at ten. just over a quarter. So I'm gonna go 10 and 3 eighths there. See if this is the same. 10 and 3 eighths here too. That's gonna be just barely bigger than this. It's gonna be about a 16th bigger than the opening here. So I'll go 10 and 3 eighths on these two here, which is really good. And then we'll do one more over here just to support as well. And then we have to just figure out how deep we want it. So we can go 37 inches. Just make sure it's the same here. 37 inches. So we go 37 inches, 10 and 3 eighths. We're gonna have Steve cut me a piece of acrylic. We're gonna go ahead and wedge that in there and then that'll hold this all making up. this foundation basically obsolete. Then we can actually epoxy that. So next step is to get acrylic. Hi. Anyway, so today, obviously you guys saw that we actually cut out the bottom of salt and pepper so we can, you know, actually see what's yeah. going on. But now, this school's thin. This school's thin. Take salt and pepper out. We're just going to put them in the bin for uh, now and then we'll do some enrichment with them later while it's actually getting worked on. Be like salt and pepper's pond and always keep working on yourself. Always be a work in progress. Cut that part. Always be a work in progress. You know he's going to leave that whole thing in there, right? Please, no. <laughs> I got my nails done for let me just help you with the alligator. Does pot, anybody else? I'm gonna get wet, so. Yeah. I'm sure I'll be a big help. So freaking strong now. Oh my god. So apparently, Pepper takes two people now. Uh, so she's gonna go right. What are we gonna do? Lit, okay. Lit duty. You're gonna let go of her tail. Yeah, You're gonna go. grab that leg. Set her down. And I say go. Slam. Three, two, one, go. Zip tight. We got the hard Dude. one out of the way first. <laughs> she is getting so big, and so strong that I literally I couldn't even fit my hand around her enough to like pick her up. So, I mean, it's exciting that she's growing. <laughs> it's so scary. Now it's time for the quote unquote easy one. Oh, oh! Take your time, take your time, take your time. Really? Okay, that went way smoother. I don't know why she's so freaking hot today. It's okay. You're gonna get fixed. You're gonna get fixed. Go, 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 go. And somehow I still got more wet with salt than I did pepper. So now that they're out, we get the pleasure of draining this thing one last time, hopefully all the way, and then we get to start sealing it. And then we get to scream and shout and let it on. 
I want Condo Mike to catch on. Like and subscribe and comment down below. Condo Mike, big condo energy. Yeah, you know, I'm never gonna let this down. I should have just never moved. Bakum! I didn't make the mess on land, but we got the uh, water all drained out. So we'll let it dry and then Mr. Rack can come in and we can start working on this thing. Fixed up for the last and final time. Yay! Hey, happy happy birthday, birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Gotcha. You for it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Steph. That's called teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> so my buddy Steve Bash, he actually cut these acrylic pieces, which are like literally just as hard as steel, really. And basically we have them wedged right here. Now I've got to get and hammer them in a little bit. Basically what we're trying to do is make sure that this bottom piece right here is elevated as much as it possibly can be. Because of course the wood is rotting away a little bit, which is causing drag on it, which is actually pulling the seam apart. These are again cut a little bit oversized so that we have really a lot of pressure. So I'm not really 100% sure how it's going to go to get this in here. I'm going to have to hammer them. Hopefully I don't break them and hopefully it works out. So uh, let's give this a shot. So again, what I'm gonna do is just, just hopefully pack this in. So far, it's going good. It's probably gonna get more difficult the deeper it gets in there. So far, so good. And again, this is just gonna hold it up tight and start cracking the acrylic. I tell you what, don't have the energy I usually have. There's no doubt about that. But, oh shoot, not too far to go. Almost there. Oh, that took a lot more energy than I'm used to expending right now in my life. But uh, first one's in really good. Now we just have to do the second one and that should brace the top. Then Steve's gonna be here later on today. He's gonna actually put a kind of an L bracket on here and then acrylic glue it so that the seam is all 100%. And then we're gonna go back and epoxy over that so that there's no way that there can be any leak. And that's the only downside. Well, there's a lot of downside to treatment that I'm on. But it's that your energy level is really <laughs> drops off. So. Just hammering that in, I am absolutely tuckered so out. So, might hit your turn, okay? I'm ready. All right, don't break the acrylic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first shot. Okay. I'm close, almost there. Oh, God, break all the way. Mike. You made this look easy. Stuff's flying everywhere. Should have some eye protection on because there's like shards of acrylic everywhere. Get in there. Run out of acrylic. Good job. Good job. You made that look way too easy. <laughs> All right, so that's the first part. Like I said, now Steve's gonna come here in a little bit and we're gonna glue that little track piece in on the back. Basically what's gonna have to happen is that we're gonna have to pull this wall away just a little bit. This whole thing here just gets pulled away. Glue that acrylic piece down there and then again, go back and epoxy over Just it. to seal it 100%. And then with this bracing, pushing it up, we shouldn't have the drag that caused the seam to kind of crack anyway. And I think if everything goes well. Right, Mike? I hope everything goes well. <laughs> We will finally have fixed this enclosure for good. Steve should be here in the next 15 or 20 minutes. So the thing I have to do is crawl in this enclosure and I have to start ripping away this universal rock right here because I, so we've got to get to the scene. This is just kind of, you know, put on here. It's a bunch of foam. I got to just kind of rip this foam off here so that Steve can get to it. Probably have to rip this piece off too. So that actually worked out pretty well. That's not bad at all. You can see where we did a kind of fix where we just put silicone down here. Fortunately, it just didn't work. So now he's going to come in and glue kind of a channel in here. Then we're gonna go back and we'll actually epoxy it as well. Hopefully there's no way it'll leak, but there's definitely, now we got the support on here, which is really good. Got the access to here, which is really good. Let's see, do his wonder, gluing it together. We'll let it dry. It's gonna take a couple days to dry and then we'll put water in. Hopefully it'll be the last time this thing leaks. We got a piece of like angle acrylic here. PVC, it matches the same material that we're repairing and we're just gonna adhesive together and cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. Cross our goatees. Place like I don't have a goatee. I used to be able to grow a goatee, now I can't. So hopefully this one is gonna work. You figure we've had the Reptarium, ironically enough, here in a couple weeks, like three weeks is our, you know, interesting enough, when we go to Animal Con, the week of Animal Con, by the way, September 15th through the 17th, Orlando, Florida, yeah. I do AnimalConUSA.com. That week is our fifth year anniversary. Whoa. I only had this one for about three, three years. Three years, and the three years I would say it's lead. 48 times. Yeah, all but maybe a month and a half <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the three years. So it's been bad. I had to go to school for, it was almost 
10 minutes. <laughs> 10 <laughs> minutes of online classes. <laughs> I don't want to ever do this again is what I'm getting at. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You drop everything, you gotta come help Come on, dude. <laughs> Round two. I kind of want it to go past everything. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put River Rock in the bottom of this one so we can Oh, okay. Go. So I can do, like, how much does this cover up? No, oh, wait, it'll cover the, the, all the way to the, to the ground. And that's, so you'll see this. You'll see that, but that, that's But you'll cover up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, do you want me to run a bead top and bottom? You can. Yeah, nothing to lose. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so Steve just left. Uh, he's always a hoot. I love that guy so much. Again, you'll see a lot of him. We're building out the aquarium, and of course, he's going to be a big part of the aquarium for years and years to come, so you're definitely going to get to know Steve a bunch. He put this track in here. It's glued. He said we don't even need to do the marine epoxy. I'll have to decide. We're going to let this cure for 24 hours. We may do a coat of marine epoxy just to be sure. Maybe we'll just fill it up. We'll just see what happens from here. Salty? How you like roaming around, huh? I don't think we've ever taken salt over to Bill and Sally. I think we should do that today. Come here, girly. Hey, dude. Salty. You just happy to see me or? Yeah, dude, look, she's swagging her tail and everything. What are you doing with it? You want to go with me? We're going to take her to the salad. Yeah. Where's Pepper at right now? Oh, she's just roaming around back there. That's crazy. I'll hold salt. You want to? Have you ever met her before? No, I have not. That's what I said. That's what he said. How is that even possible? I don't know. I've met RJ, but I have not met She's super sweet. You could pet her. I'm not going to charge up. No. Hi. <laughs> hey, she's saying hi, too. Salty, you like Bill. Whoa. Now, how old is this? They'll be five years old this Since month. Since she's a female, she'll get about seven to ten feet long, about 500 pounds. What do you guys feed her? Small children. Uh, no. Three-year-olds. No. Yeah, typically, like, chicken, rats. We've done gator pellets. We do rats. Rodents. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Bill. Bye. Bye. Let her smell the flowers. What do you think she's thinking? She said they smell good. It's been about 24 hours that this has been curing. It's 100% cured now. It's definitely good. This should be good to go. So now we just have to put this down, seal this back to the wall so that it looks yep. pretty presentable. And then we can actually test out if it actually holds water. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, but let's just go ahead and get this uh, going and uh, hope for the best. Are you confident? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, between Steve and all of this, I think it should work. <laughs> it's a disaster just this says the foam didn't want to stick but now it's like all over the bottom of the enclosure so i did the best i could do to put pond foam behind this to secure this faux rock from universal rock this made an absolute mess i mean it's all over the place not really doing exactly what we want so I actually put a two by four behind the buckets now hoping that it'll get more spread you know coverage this thing to where it pushes all the way over there you go okay I think that's gonna do it. It definitely made quite the mess here, but the, the good thing is, is you that know, up until now, we've always just kept the, the, the ground bare. We're actually gonna put like a river rock on the bottom of it, like some pebbles. Number one, I think it'll look a little bit more natural. Number two, it actually is good for alligators anyway. So they use the rocks to actually help you know, eat them and it helps them digest as well. So this will all get covered up. I'm not gonna worry about that. I just hope the water stays in the tank. <laughs> Well, we're almost halfway full up right now. There doesn't seem to be any water leaking. And like I said, when we had the water about here, that's when you really start to see that the pressure going on the seam and actually leaking really hard. So we're definitely a good three or four inches higher than we are when we saw water leaking. So this is a really good sign. No water at all. There's still a lot of dampness down there. It'll dry out over the next you know, week or two if this doesn't leak. So we're just gonna go ahead and let it fill up to about here. So we're about halfway there. And then we'll turn the waterfall on. Make sure the waterfall doesn't leak. Make sure everything else doesn't go on. And just run it for the next next couple days if we don't have any water on the ground it was a success right now, now my confidence went from 95 percent to probably more like 98 percent. i thought by the time we got to this level if we're going to see a leak we're going to see a leak so i think that that's really good news like i said when we get it all filled up and stuff like that after that we're going to put just little river rocks you know little pebbles down in the bottom it could look really cool look a little bit more natural and it'll cover up some of the seaming that we had to do and stuff like that what do you think mike so far so good? i like the chances that we have so far yeah. i think the 90 high 90s is a good guess that one great. Okay, that was so good. <laughs> okay, Salty, uh, why don't you just like roam around a little bit, get well, your exercise. I just want to hold her for a little bit longer. Okay, okay well, that was long done. enough. Oh. We'll just let her walk around, get some exercise while the tank's getting finished up. I think Pepper knocked over that tree. Who knew alligators could cause that much damage? Pepper! You Have you seen Pepper? No, where'd she go? What? Pepper! Pepper? You just replaced the tree. That was weird how we just didn't see her when we walked. That's a that's an armadillo. Go so Pepper. It's your birthday. Honey. Pepper's chasing down oh. people. Oh Look at that. Hi. Ah. Crazy, right? Thank you. 
You ever pet an albino alligator? I've never pet an alligator, no matter the color. What? And now the first alligator you pet it was albino? It can only happen here at the reptarium. Be careful. Honey, be really careful. Pepper's coming. There's a drink in that. Be careful. There's a gator. Be careful. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Mike, you better run! <laughs> yeah, what are you doing up there? If you can climb up there. Go, Connie! <laughs> Do you see a trip? Yeah. No. So, right here, there's this wall. Top right corner by that wall. It is a trip. It's, a, it's the slowest trip you can see. Let's just see how it goes, Mike. It's like the smallest trip right here, but it's right near this pump housing. I think it actually might be behind the pump housing, which means that we aren't going to be able to do too much. Now, again, we put braces here and here. We may have to come back and put a brace right here, brace that up because maybe that's still dipping a little bit. But I mean, the drip is like literally a drip every like five seconds, like one drip every five seconds. I mean, but we've got to fix it. It can't be that way. Gosh, I don't know what we're going to do. That's a tough one. Can't really rip the whole housing out not as good as we thought but uh better than it could have been so let's hope it uh gets worked out and doesn't do too bad for us but uh just keep an eye on it okay uh, i'm gonna keep an eye on it okay guys we weren't too far off on the percentage but it's slow enough to where we can actually have the gators in here have the waterfall running hopefully go by with our days for another couple months please give me a couple months also i just found out that if you ever have the hiccups really bad because i get them to where it's painful but all you have to say is i'm not a fish i don't have guilt if you say that it's supposed to get rid of the hiccups i wasn't a huge believer but i actually just saw it happen somebody said it and it worked so you guys if you ever have the hiccups you got to say i'm not a fish i don't have guilt put it down in the comments does it work because now i really want to know speaking of working though oh boy Oh, I hear it filling up with water. How funny of me to just suck all that water up, threw it out the drain. That's exactly what it's doing. That was a mod bad. So apparently the last time we drained the thing, we didn't flip the switch again. So turning on that waterfall, just drained three inches of water again. So time to fill it back up. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. That was like a waterfall to me. All right, guys, waterfall is on running looks very clean in my perspective next thing we just gotta let it fill up the rest of the way and then we can get the gators back in that's super exciting so now that finally the enclosure is all set we can get salt and pepper back in there and uh and get them back in their homes i get the easy one no you can't eat tyson okay salty back in Oh girl, they are definitely getting too big for this enclosure there's no doubt about it but at least it's running again stuff like that will get pepper in here Good to get them back on exhibit. That's great. Got the waterfall going again. Downside is, is that we do still have a little bit of a leak. We have that one spot that's in the actual filter, which uh, now we know how to fix it at least. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is, to be honest with you. What we have to do is take the pump out, disconnect everything, and then we can actually do the same exact type of fix with that L channel and stuff like that inside there. But uh, unfortunately, that's just another thing that we're going to do at a different date. Now we can just have uh, one little drip. So, uh, hey, life goes on. This tank will never stop leaking, I'm sure of it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember...